Boom, rain, my camera, and the streets. Welcome to Backyard Canvas. Sorry we've been MIA for a little bit, but I'm back. Edder here, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about going to get photography in the streets in the rain. I went out the other day with my sister and I knew I had to get some nice shots because the rain is the perfect weather. If you're a lady, you might care more about your hair. If you're a dude and you got it all fixed up nice, you're also gonna care about that. But when I see the clouds and the thunderstorms, I know, whoo, it's about to be some nice pictures. So it rained the other day, so you know how to grab my camera. The only thing about that is I didn't know if my camera was waterproof. But I knew it was weatherproof, weatherproof. It's raining, I'm all wet, my camera's getting wet. But I think it's weatherproof, so I hope everything's good. Which to me, weather, water, rain is part of the weather. I didn't really understand that part, but I said, I heard it could handle light rain. So I was gonna take it out, and I did. Now let me tell you the drive there, it was nuts. It started pouring, it was dark, but thankfully my car's got the floodlights, no, what are they called? Fog lights, so I hit those, Joosh. we had those on, we just riding down, and I knew it was all right, we gonna make it through. I had my umbrella ready, because I didn't know. If it started raining too hard, I knew I was gonna have to put my camera away, because I wasn't gonna risk it. It's a pretty expensive piece of equipment, and I would test it out in light rain, but I knew if it started pouring hard, that was it, it was a wrap. I was gonna either be under my umbrella or I was gonna call it a night. So when we got there, it's perfect. Light rain, drizzle, had my camera out, it's getting wet, it's okay. Got my rain jacket on, got the umbrella just in case. And uh, yeah, we was walking around, looking for some nice shots. At one point, we were walking in the middle of the street, late at night, there's not too many people. And I told my sister, turn around and then dish, 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 dish. I got some nice shots, sweet. The water, nice and glistening on the streets, the lights shining nice, the sky had a nice mood to it, thunder clouds everywhere. You know the photos came out nice, look at this one. And then I got this juicy one right here. And we mainly started making our way through, towards the Capitol building, so I got a bunch of shots of those. And I know, maybe you're the type of person when you say rain, you think it's a bad idea, right? It's time to stay in the house. Why am I gonna go outside and get all wet? Why am I gonna deal with that? It can be an issue. I don't think that way. And if you think I'm the only one, look at this guy. He decided to grab a scooter when it started raining, just going along. He didn't care. And that's the type of people I like. The type of people that say a bad situation to someone else might be an opportunity. So let's go out there and get it. And I mean, if we're getting motivational, that's what I always say. Take the other perspective of a situation, right? People see bad weather, people see rain, people see snow. I see nice pictures and the perfect opportunity. And that guy saw an opportunity to ride a scooter. And so he did. I mean, I obviously wear a helmet and all that good stuff. So, you know, it was a good night out in the city. We were walking around. At one point, we found this sewer thing on the floor. And it was just, you know, had smoke coming out of it because I think it was a little chilly. And I said, these are the perfect shots. So I took these right here, like boosh, boosh, boosh. The only thing is that thing stunk. So I told my sister, don't smell it. Cause I do believe this is sewage burning or some type of situation. I wasn't too sure. So I said, hold your breath. And then, da, got the pictures. And so far, so good with my camera. Still getting wet, that was all right. I try to set it down here and there to take some footage, but for the most part, it was just pictures. I prefer video, but in this case, I, I did more pictures. I wanted some more photos. So we went out to get them and it was good. It was a success to me, if you ask me. And I mean, we walked around. That's just part of street photography but it was good overall. The drizzle never went heavy, you know? Eventually we just called it a night because I think, you know, I was just tired, but the, it never got too heavy on the rain. My camera was good. Um, for a second, my LCD wasn't lighting, but for the most part, that fixed itself when it dried off, so I don't really know if it was an issue or not, but the camera's perfectly working well here, and everything's been working up until now. Um, so yeah, I don't recommend taking it out in pouring rain, but you know, based off my research and Everything I went through with it, looks like it, ha it can handle light rain. Boom, my goal was to get the shots in the streets, those bangers, because of the rain. And anytime it rains around me, I'm getting pictures. Um, I'm pulling out my camera, I'm getting them. But yeah, that was the adventure. A little night photography, a little rain photography, a little street photography, all in one. And it was a good time, and I'm excited for the next time. So you're out there and it starts raining, it starts snowing, 
even if it's a sunny day or even in fog. Just go out and take some pictures, get some shots, find some angles, try some different perspective. It's gonna be a short one today, guys. Just wanted to fill you in on a little adventure I went on. Rain, street, nighttime. Go out and shoot. Backyard canvas, logging out. I'll see you guys in the next one.